Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Kreitman. And what we're going to do this time through is we're going to look at how to make a photo real, uh, non photorealistic render um, with our non photorealistic non -photo rendering uh, renderer. Um, now you notice that I have a uh, something that akin to a blueprint made up, and this is this is the effect we're going to go for. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, now I have uh, the M2A2 Bradley tank loaded up, and you get this when you automatically when you uh, um, subscribe to Daz's uh, their premier club, the Daz, the Platinum Club, duh, the PC, and uh, it's a pretty cool render, and it's and it's perfect for um, for uh, what we're getting ready to do. Now uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's go to our render tab and you notice that this is the default setting um, if you have if you uh, go under renderer you got photorealistic and then you got non photorealistic and this is what we got here so let's go ahead and turn this down so that we can so the process will go kinda quick now what we want to do is we want to crank our filter up like this uh, we can crank our minimum brush size to five to five and uh, our maximum brush size to a hundred percent that's a hundred percent of the five percent brush size okay now let's go ahead and de-click the diffuse layer and let's just do outline and let's see what we got so far and it takes a little bit of time to render but this is what we got and you notice that uh... there are little sharp lines everywhere and and that kind of thing uh, we don't we don't want that we want uh, we want our line thickness to be um, oh huh wow uh, let's go ahead and make this our thickness is going to be 75 percent oh, you know what let's just type it in 75 percent and our length is going to be 25 percent now the trick is to um, make it look like um, no I, hit, I did that backwards <laughs> you want to make it add up to hundred percent so our thickness is going to be twenty five percent our length is going to be seventy five percent let's see how that looks and that's more like it now you notice that our uh, I have since I have don't have any since I have any aliasing turned all the way off um, there are little gaps in here. Um, you can uh, get better results with your anti-aliasing. That's where all your jagginess gets uh, taken out, and you have a nice, you have nice, clean-looking lines. Now, the trick to this whole thing is to work only in this area. Don't worry about any of this stuff down here. This is these are non-starters. You don't even have to worry about this if you just want a line effect. Um, you don't have and also you don't have to mess with diffuse highlights shadows or background um, let's see uh, yeah so um, now uh, here's where the blueprint effect comes in let's go to our outline color let's go ahead and make this white and let's do our paper color as blue And with any aliasing at best, you got nice clean lines. Now uh, you notice there are still little gaps in here. Now, if you want to, if you're going to bring it into Photoshop or your image editor, um, doing a selection is going to you're going to have really odd selections. So uh, you can go ahead and crank these up a little bit at a time, and adjust your thickness and your length. That's what's going to that's what's going to uh, make or break your image right there. Now, uh, you notice that when you do your length, you have these stray random lines right here. That's, that's why uh, you don't want 100% uh, because it starts making, uh, starts making random. Let's do 85 and see how that works. And you notice the, the lines just start to go away. 
Now, something you can do too is object clipping. Actually, you know what? We're not even going to mess with that. That's not that's not even part of the deal. But uh, uh, filter sharpness is a biggie. Uh, minimum brush size is a biggie and all this stuff right here if you're gonna make a line render um, these are the this is the area that you want to focus on your thickness bring that up if you need to um, make your anti-aliasing count that's a biggie and your length uh, crank these up and down and uh, you'll start getting uh, better results so anyway, uh, that's just a quick tip on uh, how to uh, make a blueprint effect. And as you see, um, it renders out really nicely as an animation too. So uh, anyway, that's it for this time. I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later.